All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 36. We're talking about classifying triangles today. Are you ready for this? So we're going to start off with a bit of review. Remember, right angles, those are two line segments or rays that intersect, which is just another word that means touch, and forms a 90 degree angle. Here is your right angle in black. So anything larger than 90 degrees, that's called a obtuse angle. Anything smaller than 90 degrees, those were your acute angles. Do you remember all that? So it helps if you do because triangles that contain these angles can be classified as an acute triangle, a right triangle, or an obtuse triangle. And I got a little reminder here that I switched colors on. It says every triangle has at least two acute angles. And that's true, right? This guy's acute, and that angle's acute, this angle's acute, this angle's acute, over here, this angle's acute, this angle's acute. So be careful that you look at all three angles because only acute triangles have three acute angles. This guy, the third angle, is right. Up here, if you don't see it, this angle is obtuse. Are you ready for more? So it says we can also classify triangles by the length of their sides. This is the part that gets a little bit trickier, and I'm not just talking about how to pronounce these funky words. Equilateral have three equal length sides. They are triangles that have three equal length sides. Isosceles only have two equal length sides, or scalene triangles have no equal length sides. Each one of those segments, that's a completely different length. So we're going to start off, they're going to start talking to you about classifying each triangle by its side. So if I look at this, all three sides are equal, right? Do you remember that one? That should be an equilateral triangle then. This guy, even though he's a right triangle, I'm not classifying him by his angle. I'm classifying by the sides. And all that information is presented for you in page 224 of your book. How about this one over here? If we take a look at this side, and if we folded it all the way down, it would be just a little bit longer than the bottom. And we definitely know this side going up here. Man, if we folded him over, he's only going to end up here. It would appear he has no equal sides at all. Do you remember that word? You should. It's on page 224 of your book. If it has no equal sides, that would be scalene. And this last one over here, maybe you don't see it right now, but how about if I tipped him up like that? It's a little more identifiable, right? Do you see it now? It looks like he has two equal sides. Do you remember what his name is? His name was isosceles, right? Isosceles have two equal sides. So let's go ahead and do the easier one now. I always think it's easier to classify by angles, but at times you're going to be asked to classify both by angle and by side. So now we're just talking about the angles this looks like he has one larger angle than 90 degrees, so we always said that was obtuse. This one up here is really easy because it has the little symbol 
telling you that's 90 degrees. So if it's 90 degrees, that is a right triangle. And even though this guy looks like he's equilateral, we're not talking about his sides right now. We're talking about his angles. Do you see anything there larger than 90 degrees? I sure don't. So he is a cute little triangle. Our last one here. It says, draw a right triangle with sides that are equal length. So I'm going to start off right now with this because you can see it real plainly here. These guys are equal length, right? So I'm going to go and just put them together as a triangle. Then it says, then draw a segment between the endpoints to form a triangle. And it says, what type of right triangle did you draw? So you are going to have to go and use both of your descriptors. It is right. It said so there. And if we started off with two equal length sides, he is also isosceles, wouldn't he be? He would be a right isosceles triangle. So that would appear to be the end. It's kind of nice not to have me talking too, too, too much. Make sure you have your book open for your Socratic quiz. You're definitely going to want page 223 and 224. And good luck.